one of us are operating at the next level, the basal level. None of us. Because the other man or the other is the judge of whoever we are and whatever levels we are at. And Islam was brought to the world to eliminate the concept of levels, classes and castes as a certain society. Allah has created us from the best of the earth and the, the most refined light and he has put us all at the lowest level together. All of us. That is, we begin life with nothing in our record. Absolutely nothing. Nothing to judge. Although there is nothing against us also, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is just so we all begin life on a common ground, all of us, simply common ground. What therefore makes the difference? Those who believe and do righteous deeds, they are the ones that will ascend to their Lord, ascend to their Lord. Not ascend in this world, not ascend at the basal level, ascend to their Lord. So the extent of your belief or our belief, my belief, and the amount of good in which you will engage will get you and all of us, inshallah, closer and closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is Zil Maharaj, the owner of the ascending stairway that he could ascend, climb. He is the owner of that. None of us can tell who is stepping up further or faster than each other. None of us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the owner and the judge of that. How then are we attempting to ascend? Certain animals, they ascend by climbing on each other. And as they climb on each other, they push down each other. Islam certainly does not preach that we climb and push down each other. And uh, it is stated quite clearly here, as I quote from the Prime scholars, that all of us have started on a level plane, and all of us should try to attempt to, without knowing the ordinary, climbing or bringing down each other. But we should attempt to ascend the stairway to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our education, therefore, and the level of our education, and I would use the word philosophy, thinking based upon the education that we are gotten from Quran and the practices of the Prophet and other beneficial education. The way we think based upon the impact of our education upon us. And here is where we are at different levels in terms of our education. But still we will be judged at the level that we are at. And that doesn't mean to say that, that because we are, some of us are more educated or less educated than others, we are different. We are all the same. Our action, therefore, should emanate, should come out of 
our education, the philosophy of our living should be based. All, all our actions, our deeds should not be self-motivated or sensitively motivated. But if we were to act based upon the recommendation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the visualization by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to us, then there will be no problem with the way we act based upon thinking that everything is of that. I can only bring to the fore that if we are not exposed to education in depth of Al-Qur'an and being aware, fully aware of the practices of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then we will be shortchanging ourselves and we will be acting based on what we think is right. Therefore we need to be careful, my dear brothers and sisters, and constantly, consistently seek to upgrade ourselves based upon the, the authentic education of the Quran and practices of our dear Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi On the day of judgment, I just want to add here, our actions are very influencing, and especially if we are adults, and the children, some of our children are very influential, they influence others, and we influence our children and others also. Therefore, the basic philosophy and action emanated from and shown by our Prophet and from our Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and trying to make us fully prepared for, you know, all this time in the coming days, there will be lectures on the life of the Prophet and we can be more exposed to all the events, his personality, his qualities, the respect, the love, consideration of human being, fellow human being, that is the part of us. And we can be in a position to really look at this life and look at all lives and see how we are in terms of the example set. On the day of judgment, some humans will be worse than animals. Why animals? Why animals won't have judgment, therefore they are not at risk of being thrown into the hellfire. But the man will be a sensible. We will give him a quality of thinking and what is right, what is wrong, and this will be different. And we have to pay for it. But man will, and the way of getting out of the abyss is by believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and doing good. Belief is one thing. And uh, you are here, we are here because we believe. What must be done in translating this belief into action and what would be the guiding light of that action, where it's coming from? And only then would you be a truly special person. You are right. And this is where Prophet Abraham, I'll be pleased with him, shone out. He dedicated this entire personality to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is also where Prophet Muhammad of the movie peace shone out over everybody else and because of this dedication they ascended so high that Allah made Abraham Khalilullah the friend of Allah and 
Prophet Muhammad Ilhamuan of Allah, Habibullah We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Cause us to develop attitudes Personalities Habits That will make us Friend of Allah Khalilullah But here we my dear brothers and sisters You know when we are friends amongst ourselves We talk about unconditional friendship And uh, nowadays we hardly see that existed So if in reality at the low level We cannot or we find it difficult to be friend to our brother, friend to our sister, friend to our aunt and uncles and mothers and fathers and children, be friends to each other, be relatives fine, but be friends to be relatives. We have no choice about that. But can we be friends with each other? As friends, what do we do? And here's where we will test of unconditional friendship. Of course, we are different when we make mistakes, we have disagreements, but are we friends to each other, my dear brothers and sisters? And I, 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 I pose to myself, and I pose to you, if we aren't or we can't be friends to each other, who we can see, feel, touch, smell, whatever you want to say, can we or do we or are we in a position to be friends to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? When we compete, and, and how children learn, they learn how to compete first. They feel the touch. That is how teachers teach. All of us would have learned something that way. All of us relate that way. Therefore, if we cannot be friends with each other, I say that we can. And say that we have demonstrated some of us that we can be friends and you can be friends with us. But, but, but on a larger scale, make it be as solid as possible. And, and if there are any disagreements, we sit down as friends. Here, yeah, I'm not saying family, I'm saying friends. Within the family, within, within the community, within the Jama, within the community. We sit down as friends and we are talk about it, talk it out rather than fight it out. And here is the implication of it. This is what brings us closer to God. This is what brought Father Abraham closer to God as well as God and made him fight it out. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all these things to be friends with, first of all, with His creation, each other, and inshallah, we, we can step up the ascending stairs, the Zildabar Ridge, so that we can become friends with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we are prepared to utilize the gifts that Allah has blessed us with in a righteous and appropriate manner, we therefore do that attain closeness to Him. It all depends on our intention and, of course, our deeds. We beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this blessed and the holy period leading the Rabbi Allah and the other that he enables us to translate our beliefs into righteous and beneficial actions that will help us to ascend to him of course and attain nearness to him inshallah Prophet Muhammad uh, said in a deep and this is what he needs to be to the belief and action. You are not a believer 
this is serious. Until you want for your brother or sister that which you want for yourself. Equality, treatment, dealings with each other, respect, love, etc. that you want for yourself, are we demonstrating it to each other? To the younger one, to the less fortunate one, to the less supposedly, and I say supposedly because I don't know, educated one, the less endowed one, the same respect to the one who is greater in attainment at this level. One who is empowered financially and otherwise, intellectually and otherwise. Are we able to treat people the same way? My dear brothers and sisters, now that's the man who to help us to be able to, to treat each other with love and respect and the equality that he has shown us through our solar horizon. So that all of us can ascend in silver, orange, and ascend in silver,